figured since I built the race version, I should probably build this. I should build the street version to go along with it. How you doing, guys? Welcome into the bench here at the garage, and this is gonna be my next uh, build videos I'm gonna do before the Nissan Skyline GTS R R31 from Hasegawa. You've already seen the the race version done, so now we'll turn our attention and get the street version done. I uh, pulled this from the ancillary stash the other day and finally decided, you know what, let's build this. I've been having a about of, uh, I can't decide what I want to build for the last couple months really, that's out, that's not a, a NASCAR related kit. I don't, know what my, I don't know what my deal has been really, just haven't been able to settle on stuff to build. I mean, I have uh, stuff that I want to build, I necessarily maybe don't have the kit for it yet, or I don't have the pain, or I don't, so I've just been like racking my brain trying to figure out what I want to build. So here we are, and we'll work on this and see how it goes. I've already been deciding, been looking at what colors I want to paint it, and I have picked out six Nissan colors that I was considering. Let's take a look and see what colors I'm going to consider. First up, I considered going with Merlot Red. But then I said, nah, I don't want to do red. Moved on and said, okay, what about some blues? I got blues. So this was um, Majestic Blue. And then a Twilight Blue Metallic. One of those was used on the Mac Maximas. It's kind of the reason why I got it, because I'm a, I love Max I'm a Maxima fanboy. So it's, I just thought it'd be kind of cool to get one of those. Get a, get a Maxima color. I actually have two Maxima colors now. One, the color that my old Maxima was painted in. But anyway, that's... Right. Moving on. Uh, next up was uh, Titanium Metallic. And then Gunmetal Metallic. These two are uh, R35 colors. And so the process of elimination has less, uh, left us with one color that I'm considering. And it is Millennium Jade. Which, if you know your, uh, your Nissan history, as you should, that was used on the Nurse R34 GTR. I'm not aware of any other vehicles, Nissan, any other models Nissan might have painted it with. I kind of half-assed did a little bit of research on it, but lost interest in Boudon, so I really don't know. It doesn't really matter. But I think this is what I'm going to use. I think it'll look good on the R31. Uh, I think it's a good color that'll fit. Kind of goes with that error, kind of, you know, all that good stuff. So I think that is what I'm going to paint it with. Unless I change my mind and go to another direction. I'm kind of getting, trying to get away from painting everything blue that I normally do. Well, you know, I'm trying here, and it is tough, I'll tell you that. Let's open the box up and have a look-see inside. It has already been debagged. did that last night, actually. Um, trying to stop myself from, having to stop myself from starting to get working on it before I got the video started. And of course the body, which is molded in that lovely shade of dark blue. Not a fan of molded in colors like that, at least on the bodies. I think they should all be white. Just my opinion, of course. So now what I'm considering doing, one reason why I was considering going with blue for this one is because it is molded in blue. And doing that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to worry too much about bleed through. Even if there is a little bit of bleed through, you know, it's a blue, it wouldn't be as noticeable, I don't believe. But since I'm going to go with a lighter color, I'm thinking I might have to do a barrier coat first. So I need to check my uh, silver supply, my silver paint supply, and see if I have enough to do a uh, real quick barrier coat before I get to the primer. So that is where I'm at right now. Let's. Um
getting the body prepped and ready for some primer. I removed the mold and seam lines, deepening, deepening the panel lines, adding some new panel lines. Oops, had a little bit of issue here on the door, you can see right there. That was my new panel line that I added over there too. And the same thing over here in that area. So I was sanded, that, sanded the, the new lines smooth. Uh, I didn't get very deep with it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Don't really need to fill anything. Hopefully the primer coat should kind of seal it up, cover it up. I'm hoping anyways. So the body's been washed and now I'm ready to get a coat of primer and see how much more work I need to do on the body. And the body is in primer and it is almost ready for a first coat of paint. Got some areas I need to work on before I actually get there. Normally, namely around the doors and stuff. I got, there's some sanding and stuff I still need to do. Uh, the panel lines have been done already, but again, I still need to uh, do some sanding in some areas. Because um, I think some of the areas, there's an area down here and up here that needs some addressing. Um, and somewhere over here, you know, so I need to do a little bit of sanding and stuff to kind of fix some of the some of my uh, mess ups that I did when I was getting the panel lines scribed. And then I'll do another coat of primer, and then it should be ready for some 